Let's talk about the upkeep and the maintenance of it. So a lot of these trailers, they got a bunch of moving parts. So anything that pretty much got a hinge on it, it should have like a grease point where you can hook up a grease gun and bink, 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 spray some grease in there. You definitely want to make sure everything is greased. Like the axles, um, some of the pivot points, the doors, the hinges. Make sure you put some grease in the nut joint. The telescopic lift, you know what I'm saying? If you got the other lifts, then those lifts too. To make sure everything is greased. They actually recommend it like every 15,000 miles. Going to the dump, you want to make sure you check your tires mm -hmm. for nails. And I mean, even driving on the road. Definitely check the lug nuts. You always want to check those because just driving, doing a bunch of driving, hitting potholes, heavy loads in there, anything can wheel loose. Check, after you check them lug nuts, make sure your tire PSI is definitely good on all the tires. Everything is even. Also, it's always good to have a spare tire. So if you're negotiating with your trailer and it's not coming with one, man, tell them go ahead and throw you a spare tire up in that joint because you never know. Is that where the spare go there? Yeah, the spare's up We get a spare? Five inch slots, yeah. It goes right up. Oh, you see those two boats? Oh, okay. And it's better if you catch a flat that whoop, quick change. Don't have to worry about it, worry about replacing the tire later. You don't want to be just stuck on the side of the road with a heavy load and then you got a tire blew off. So the tires from Nellis, I actually bought from you guys. I caught a flat on the freeway. So it's right there, bought two tires just in case. Yep. Just to have. Yeah, smart idea, man. Another negotiation tactic you might be able to use, throw in a tarp. Yeah, come on, dog. Right, come on here, hit the play up. If you can't get one thrown in, it still would probably be a good idea to yeah. get a tarp. Because you don't want stuff to be all flying out, going all over the place. You better have insurance, especially if you're wrong with all this heart. Right. <laughs> Some of them might be charging a little bit over than what they really work, but you can go to Amazon. Our trailer came with the brackets already to install the tarp, so that was perfect. Make sure you got the attachment. Some dump places actually require you to have a tarp when you come. <laughs> do you take trade in? We do. Oh, you do? Another way to get your price lower, too, if you got a trailer that you want to trade in. And they um, accept them? Yeah, when they accept them, they definitely take in trade ins. He's yeah, not like, not that one. That one. <laughs> We had an older trailer. I really wouldn't even trade that one in anyways because it's like the amount they probably gonna give to us is like ain't even really worth it. Well, we didn't even ask them, so you don't know. They probably would have gave us like $200. Believe it or not, there's a trailer out there for everyone. <laughs> you know also, what, look, look, for real. Crazy because that was just a frame when we got that. Yeah. Like 100 bucks and then 200 bucks on wood. We had it for about, about six years now, too. Mm -hmm. I tell people like that, just keep it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one there, I'm definitely just gonna keep it. Another thing is make sure you got hydraulic fluid on that. Use the right hydraulic fluid. Straight hydraulic fluid. It's straight hydraulic fluid, fluid. Yeah, negative 30 okay. in the winter time so it doesn't freeze. Definitely want to have some high quality hydraulic fluid in there if you want to be operating that joint in the winter time. Especially if you are up here in Ohio weather, Lord Man, Jesus. It'll it can be, be winter, spring, summer, fall, all in the summer. Man, <laughs> and one week literally it was like sunshine, rain, Sleet snow, but we gotta get some money. It's different fluids coming different colors too, so you actually see if that boy leaking. Yeah. I'll always check for leaks too. Make sure you don't overload the dang trailer. It's gonna last you. I mean, I see these things coming for repair. Mm -hmm. Dude, it looks like Swiss cheese grater on the bottom. Oh. But does, that's what they're meant for. They're meant to be beaten on. They're meant to last you 10, 15 years. Like, okay, I know some people are gonna be bad. That's <laughs> us, by the way. But we ain't gonna overload her. But please note that you might mess up your warranty. Some places offer three years. We kind of got a little bit for this yeah. because we thought we was getting a three year warranty, and it came but it was one. a year. So they say the typical trailer lasts about 10 to 15 years. And like climates like us, we got snow, salt, all that type of stuff on the road. So I know we definitely probably gonna undercoat underneath our trailer. They got different type of undercoatings. Um, some people would use the bed liner spray. Make sure you don't put it inside. Cause if you do that and you go to the dump, guess what? It's gonna be sitting up there looking down at you like, hmm, what you think I'm about to do? Come down. Oh, don't do it inside. A guy did that inside and when you went to dump, it, like, it was like dog blood. It did oh. nothing came out. Oh, wow. oh. Don't oh, do wow. it inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, up underneath, absolutely. Like some trash decoration. <laughs> if you're gonna use bed liner spray, only use underneath the trailer where all the salt and stuff gonna be. And the inside, just make sure you touch it up, spray it. You know, I heard liquid film was good to prevent rust and stuff like that. Some people do that over the bear liner spray, so we're going to try both of them. Yeah, might make a video. Yeah, they say it lasts a year, though, so mm -hmm. might as well try it out and see. Yeah, maybe a year later we can even look at y'all, huh? Right. <laughs> 
One thing they called out is that it's like a universal lock on the boxes. That lock on there, is that like a universal key for all of them? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'm like, so is that like a universal key? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm like, well, we're gonna have to get that changed out. If you wanna think about like theft protection and stuff like that, they got coupler locks. They're like 50 bucks. Oh. Um, if you're dropping it off and taking the truck, mm -hmm. coupler, absolutely coupler, coupler lock. lock. For each style. So they got gooseneck coupler locks and then they got regular coupler locks for uh, the hitch parts. Uh, probably say wheel lock. Yeah, mm. wheel lock. GPS's, they make GPS devices, so you know where your stuff at. Just look at the details of whichever one you go with. There may be some ways for you to do that prevention. It has to be insured too. I not have insurance, so that boy can be covered if anything happens to it. Even if it's in an accident or something, you always want your stuff covered. We even have insurance on our handy bandy trailer okay so i got insurance on a little rinky dink up there. <laughs> <laughs> this boy got spider webs on him and stuff i don't know babe we might need a discount for the real yeah. that boy been staying here since last year that was a 2021 and it already was resting and had bad wheels on it so it was already sitting for a while if you got one that's a year or two old but it's brand new and it's rusting that means it's gonna rust even more when you're actually using it if it's rusting just sitting in a lot like you already know what's coming. Stay tuned for our, the one we chose because y'all gonna be so blown by the price and the value that we got. I mean, I'm gonna clean it up for you and prep mm. it up. Okay. Uh, usually takes me about two hours to do it. Oh, okay. Any right, type of lug nuts. When you're gonna pick it up, they actually should have already done like a safety check or they may do it while you're there and mm -hmm. also just give you like a heads up on how everything works. They should just do their part, check the lug nuts, make sure they oil lit. Make sure the battery got some light. Yeah, be aware they may charge you a fee. If you don't know the ins and outs before you leave out of there with the dang trailer, make sure they just give you a walkthrough and show you everything. I even noticed that the battery wasn't fully charged when we got ours and I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. How do we know that there's not just the old battery y'all right. doing here? He ended up being nice enough to let us know, hey, this sticker right here actually tells you if it's a new battery versus the old battery. Thank goodness our truck had the right. stuff where you could plug up the trickle charger that it came with. So that was a bonus that it came with. Doing paperwork, they may charge you like a fee for them like notarizing that you were signing. Get a prep fee. Yeah. Make you a checklist so when you go to that dump, Ooh. after you done got your stuff, make sure you pin back them doors before you dump. Because if you don't pin back them doors and you dump, guess what? It's gonna go up and them doors gonna come off. If you don't pin those doors, you'll rip these doors right now. Ooh. And that's about two grand wow. to get a new set of doors. They probably say if you pay them two thousand dollars. Right. But you could probably weld them joints back on or make your own hinges for them joints, but you gonna need some heavy duty hinges because them doors are heavy. Well I just thought about it and do something like that. And I could picture me and baby trying to be out on some mess like that and my arms just getting tired. Like trying to hold me. Baby, please. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. My arms going sweet. Everybody does it. You just think it fast. You're yeah. in a rush. Right. Right. Checklist. Checklist. <laughs> most important thing. Oh my, my dad, gosh. he actually rented a dump trailer from uh, Home Depot. And he like, man, we just rented this dump trailer and we already done dented the damn doors because oh. they ain't pulling back. So when they dump Ooh. it, it's a bit. It I mean, just the door squashes just... it. 